we've been engaging in uh, developing the buffer zone around Konza Technopolis, which is a 10 kilometer radius area. That's where we have been planning. We want it to mimic more or less of what is happening inside. As you are aware, the Konza Technopolis is 5,000 acres, so it can only fit up to certain level of development. So the others, we want them to be around the buffer zone. That's why we want to have controlled development. So we start by planning. The plan is a 10 year plan, which will run from 2023 to 2033. Then after that, we can review. Planning is a devolved function. So it is the mandate of the county government. That's why we brought the CCMs in charge of lands for the three counties and then other two extra CCMs from each county. So the committee comprises of nine ECMs from the three counties. Then we have co-opted the Ministry of Lands, then uh, the Council of Governors to help us in the entire process. We've been using uh, technical teams, five technical teams from each county, so a total of 15, and then co-opting other technical persons as we move on. From Feb, that's when we started, and uh, by April we had the first draft. And today there was concerns on uh, waste recycling, because here in Konza they have a very advanced and smart was recycling. It was a question of will we replicate one in the outside? But uh, Konza has confirmed to us their system is so huge that they set it to treat the waste both from the Technopolis and from the municipality around. We had issue of a, a cross-cutting road all the way from Momandu to Kajado. That one we will incorporate. There is the issue of the, the ICT, Technopolis being a smart city. How well will we replicate the smartness to the buffer zone? We will amend that in our plan. Of course, internet is wireless, you can't show by line, but we will propose in the main document.